Hey everybody, it's Suzanne and I'm checking in with this week's video blog. It is February 19th, 2012 and this is the going into the 27th week post-op and I lost 1.1 pound this week. Um, it's slowed down quite a bit. I mean, I have, uh, you know, in the, with my trainer, I've intensified the workout. I'm lifting weights. I'm running up and down the stairs, and I'm doing all of the things that I'm supposed to be doing. And it's just slowed real da uh, down a, a whole awful lot. Um, I guess I just got cut spoiled with the, you know, the two and three pound, you know, four pound loss every week. Um, things are still, you know, shifting around. Um, so I guess I'm just kind of like in an, another phase of uh, weight loss. Um, this shirt is a medium. I never thought that I would be, you know, wearing a medium. I took a bunch of t-shirts home um, just about a month before surgery in August. And, uh, you know, I was holding them up and I was thinking, no, I'll probably never we be wearing these. And they said, well, you know, at work, just take them. You'll be wearing them pretty soon. So this was a medium. And uh, so I am in a medium, which is pretty good. I felt good about that. Um, let's see. I had my measurements uh, this past week, and I have lost 29 and 3 quarter inches from the beginning of October when I started. And uh, that is like, you know, just a f this much from being 30 inches. Um, so I know that the exercise and working out and you know doing all of the things I've been doing since October has really worked. Um, it, it's just uh, the 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 weight loss is is slowing down. Uh, it's still a loss, and I can't you know I can't grouse about that. But I just would uh, like to hit that 90 pound mark by by the end of February, and I don't have very much time uh, to go. Anyway. Um, this week, I, you know, I don't know if other people are, are uh, who've had the particular kind of surgery that I've had, uh, if they have the same kinds of, of, you know, problems that I do, but the cold, I keep, you know, harping on that, the cold has really, really done, uh, you know, some, some work on me. Uh, I had... And maybe still have the the fibromyalgia, but uh, right after the surgery, all of the aches and pains and everything just kind of went completely away, and I haven't had any of that. But um, if I get cold, it just like it hangs on and it gets right into the marrow of the bones, and I ache and ache and ache. And if I have injured in you know the past uh you know my my knee i have i've injured that a couple of times from falling and uh, you know recent kind of stuff it kind of seeps into those places that are weakest and really you know will ache something fierce and you know then you 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 know rub all the the stuff on and you you stink like you know with that menthol stuff that people <laughs> rub on for arthritis uh, I guess that's just probably one of the things that uh, is going to continue to be with me. Um, but, you know, that that's that's just something that, um, you know, I will probably continue. Uh, the other thing is I'm kind of thinking it's like if I feel this way in Louisiana during our winter, um, in the summer, does that mean that it's going to be even better? I mean, it's not going to be as hot. I mean, before... In the summer, you know, it's like 99 degrees outside and 100% humidity. And I thought I was just going to, you know, completely pass out from walking from the car to the building. And I wonder if that's going to be uh, better. I'm going to be able to tolerate the heat even even better. I hope so. Um, spring is here. I saw my first robin yesterday. Uh, my husband and I went out and uh, went grocery shopping, and as we were leaving to go out of town, we saw a robin kind of hopping around in the yard. So that means spring is here, or it's here in Arcadia where I live. Um, 
you know, people are beginning to mow their yards, and you know, the the smell of uh, fresh mowed grass is really, you know, kind of works. And it's like I'm going to be able to go out into my garden and actually work my garden, uh, where I wasn't able to do that um, the last few years that we've had it. Um, I'd you know pull something or you know just be completely you know laid up uh, from doing just the the smallest amount of, of things so hopefully this year uh, I'll be able to get out into the garden and you know really work it like I want to um, the other thing that I've noticed and this you know of course it sounds like I'm always complaining about it uh, the headaches I still have headaches and I don't know whether it's you know I time to go back to the eye doctor and you know get a, a, a new uh, contact lens prescription or I'm doing a lot of uh, computer work and that's just you know messing with my head um, and eyes but it seems like every day every day almost like clockwork about 10:30, 11 o'clock I'll get the headache right here and I don't know where that is coming from, uh, and it doesn't seem to go away. Um, the only time it really goes away is um, if I go and I work out, and you know I get all this blood to my to my head, I guess, and it'll it'll go away temporarily, and then after I get uh, to the house and I, you know I settle down, and it, it it'll come back. Um, it happened today. This is Sunday. So it happened today. I went, um, you know, up until about 1030 and I started to notice, okay, the headache is here. And it went away around lunchtime and then it came back about 2.30, 3 o'clock. Maybe even earlier than that. It's about 1.45, uh, you know, 2, 2 o'clock. So it came back, and I didn't take anything. I'm trying not to kind of lean on the ibuprofen or the acetaminophen uh, too much, because I, I think after a, a certain length of time, it just doesn't work anymore. But um, you know, just uh, trying to remain positive. You know, the scale is continuing to go down, and that's really the important thing. Um, I'm having. Uh, you know, a, a really uh, good, you know, workout session. I'm stronger than I have been. I'm probably in better shape than I have ever been. Um, and uh, so this is this is all good. Uh, it's just that I've gotten spoiled. Uh, you know, that initial stuff. Uh, you know, losing weight really. You know, three pounds every week is just you know a marvelous thing. And uh, losing a pound. It's still a marvelous thing a week, um, but I just uh, want to get get to that 90 pound mark, and then I can work on the next, you know, 10 pounds, and and then the the next. So I'm kind of taking it in increments. It's just like it's just slowed down, and you know, I'm just trying to get there. Um, I guess that's pretty much it. Um, you know, the we're we're just you know, trying to get through this season. Um, this was um, yeah, having the Mardi Gras parades this weekend all over everywhere in Shreveport in Alexandria. I think they had them. Children's parade got rained out yesterday. And uh, let's see, they probably, that's it. I mean, uh, Tuesday is uh, Mardi Gras day. So I guess in New Orleans they'll still be having some of the parades. Um, so folks are, you know, here trying to figure out what you're going to give up for Lent, and yeah, you know, I don't know. Um, I think what I'll maybe try to give up is to stop complaining so much about, you know, the you know weight coming off so slow. Uh, I'm really, you know, I'm happy. And uh, you know things are continuing to go. Kind of got back into um, some of my hobbies, and um, one of them is uh, just right over my shoulder here. Um, I had started uh, painting back in August when I was uh, you know home recuperating from the surgery, and uh, wanted to try 
you know, portrait painting, and I, uh, you know, haven't really done that since just in forever. And uh, so um, I started working on it this this week, and I had a kind of a long weekend, and so I got pretty far along. It's uh, you know, it's coming coming along pretty good. Um, I hope to be finished with it to enter an art show that's coming up in March. So I'll be doing that. Some of the other things that I've been trying to do is get back into the writing, and because uh, I haven't been, uh, that's kind of been on like a extended hiatus. So now I'm getting back into that, and uh, you know, trying to work on um, that third and final of the trilogy. And then I will start on something else. I like to have a couple, two, three things going on at one time. But the the painting is really the thing that I I want to make sure that I I at least finished it and put it in the art show that's coming up. So I guess that's pretty much it for um, this week. Uh, go work out tomorrow and uh, go Wednesday and Thursday. And hopefully it'll be a, a, a better week. So until next time, folks, I'll see everyone then. Bye.